So my field of uh, research is transnational labor law, and what I'm looking at is how uh, traditional forms of lawmaking, what we would have referred to as international law that was very state-centered, is now opening up uh, in light of some very real uh, challenges uh, to governing labor in the contemporary economy. The award by the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation has uh, had a remarkable and frankly unexpected uh, impact on my research. What I hadn't anticipated was the depth and breadth of the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation's commitment to fostering community and really building uh, public intellectuals engaged in uh, core issues in the world here in Canada and abroad. My advice is to really think about what it is that you most want to do and uh, how this research uh, support enables you to do what uh, you care about. Uh, that's been pivotal for me and it guides um, my decision making as to what I'll apply to. Well, I have my scientific research base in Panama and I work uh, on the issues of land use, so how do you protect forests, how do you engage in agroforestry, how can people that live in or near the forest um, be the steward and how can we support them in their role of protecting forests. And the Trudeau Fellowship is allowing me to do completely something completely different, it's uh, focusing in Canada and it's really about uh, indigenous people in Canada uh, doing something to give visibility to the actions that they're already taking on climate change. The first time I was nominated for a prize, it was my di the director of my department at the time who did that, and I was like feeling it's gonna be a lot of time and why should I bother, and actually it really made me feel good, you know. You work hard for all those years and nobody knows what you're doing and suddenly recognition feels, feels surprisingly good. So my work, it's uh, focused on trying to understand how negative life experience or specifically trauma impacts the way the brain works and how um, it influences the brain at the molecular level. Well, the other line of the work that I do is trying to understand how is that um, antidepressant treatment works and why is that some people who are treated with antidepressants um, respond to treatment whereas other people don't and again at the molecular level. Uh, when you receive an award is an opportunity to highlight your work and therefore to have new connections and collaborations and uh, meet other people. The award uh, process is um, difficult. You have to bother a lot of people because often requires letters from people telling about why you're so wonderful and this and that. So that is the difficult part, but it's certainly worth it. Euh, mes travaux portent plus spécifiquement sur le roman du 19e siècle français et du début du 20e siècle français. Mais mon domaine de spécialisation, c'est le roman de Balzac à Proust. Le prix nous permet d'avoir une, une vue ensemble sur ce qu'on fait. Il faut évidemment préparer la, la candidature. Donc, le processus de mise en candidature est l'occasion de réfléchir à ce qu'on fait euh, et d'avoir une sorte de clarté de vue sur nos travaux qu'on qu n'aurait pas autrement parce qu'on n'a pas forcément l'occasion d'avoir euh, à réfléchir de manière aussi concentrée sur ce qu'on fait. Donc, c'est une sorte de moment de vue d'ensemble sur nos travaux que le prix peut nous donner et qui, intellectuellement, est très enrichissant. Ça peut être intimidant de se voir proposer pour un prix, mais ce qu'il faut avoir à l'esprit, c'est qu'avant d'obtenir le prix, et même si on n'obtient pas le prix, il y a tous les prix, entre guillemets, qui précèdent. Euh, simplement être euh, retenu, choisi pour être mis en candidature, c'est un prix en soi. Euh, recevoir les lettres de recommandation de collègues qu'on estime beaucoup et qui prennent plaisir, qui, ont, qui sont contents de nous soutenir, c'est un prix en soi. Donc il faut, il faut y aller, il faut, il faut oser. Euh, et puis tant mieux si on l'a, on est, on est bien content, c'est superbe, mais si on ne l'a pas, on a quand même gagné quelque chose. 
the work that I'm doing right now um, is called yeah. Knowledge to Action Science, and so it's really all about yeah. how do we engage with communities that are making decisions that affect their local yeah. landscapes, their local yeah. environment. So when I was applying for this, um, and I looked at the winners of the Stacey Award in the past, I was struck by the fact that many of them had a strong disciplinary focus. Many were in physics or chemistry or engineering. There were fewer but some in biology and almost none in sustainability science. It was a little disheartening. I almost didn't apply and in the end I decided that it was worth it just to try and I'm so glad that I did. For me, there were two great things that were really worthwhile about doing this, and one was just the effort of putting together the application was such a great opportunity to reflect on the things that I have done and where I want to take that into the future. Second part, I think, is even if um, it seems like it might be a reach, the value of putting together the application and then the, the chance that you might have this opportunity to have um, an expanded network, an expanded ability to do the kinds of things you want to do, it, it definitely makes it worth it.